Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. The big show continues to roll on. I got Popo Winton in the wings. I said Popo. Masai Harris, big respect, big, big, big respect. All right, it is 9.23 in the morning, um, and from one super producer to another, I got Bob What do you say, my brother? I hear, man. Hey, Grateful bro. to be on the Vivid Streaming. Hey, come on, one man. One of the best. Come on. Wait, hold on. Let me blow the horn for that. Hey. That's it. One of the best to do it. <laughs> Hey, respect, my brother. Listen, uh, first and foremost, thank you very much for spending some time with us this morning. Um, I know a man like you're very busy, uh, very <laughs> accomplished, uh, and I am proud of you. I'm going to just start the interview like that. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. All right, so now I just had Mike Love on, right? And, mm. and Mike Love was singing your praises. Well, in actuality, he didn't sing. He just said it. But mm -hmm. uh, he has the ability to sing very well. And he was pointing out um, how big a deal you are. And he listed some artists that you worked with. I'm sure mm -hmm. he missed a few. We don't <laughs> trust Mike Love. So how about you tell us wh who you been working with in the soca world? Ah, uh, man. So in the soca world, I had the pleasure of working with um, Marshall Montano. Okay, stop right there. Uh-huh. You know, you know, just casually. Uh, Marshall Montano. Okay, now you can keep going. <laughs> I had, uh, it was Marshall Montano. We had Kess. Skinny Fabulous, Bungie Garland, Nadia Batson, Ola Tunji, Young Brother, Adamo, Son, Skinny Bantan. It got, it got a good amount of people, with son. Okay. Curran Dubois, Shal Marshall. <laughs> yeah, well, I forgot. Let me keep. Oh, yeah, yeah let me keep going. Um, <laughs> Dubois. Listen, man. Bro. Bro. You, you work with everybody that matters in the soca industry. What was your breakthrough? At what point did you make the breakthrough where you, you got to work with these kind of names? I would say COVID year, pandemic. Okay. Um, you know, behind the scenes, many people don't know, but I actually been going at this for some years now, you know, right. um, just trying to find my sound, you know, trying right. to, to get a job. Cause I actually quit music back in 2018, 19. Yeah. Um, I just gave up. I felt like uh, I keep trying and nothing working, so I had to stop. And normally, QC the band up here in Orlando uh -huh. has a big influence to do what's going on. So, me living in Orlando, going to Culture Fet and all these bigger platforms, you know, like these big fests that they have, right, right. I was actually able to meet new people. You know what I mean? New people that's been doing the things just because the band playing on these bigger platforms right so i actually met this lady adana in uh -huh. trinidad i just want to bigger up from now because she has a big role to play in what's popo today all right well i'm gonna shout <laughs> out too okay you know so uh i actually just sent an email just to uh patrice roberts manager okay i just sent an email out one day and within 30 minutes my phone is ringing Wow. And they're like, hey, I really love your productions. Okay. So I'm like, okay. So let me see, you know, what we could do from there. So right. I had made a beat. It was called the Location Rhythm. That was actually my first international production. Okay. It had um, Nadia Batson, Lyrical, and Adamo. Well, that's a hell of a way to start. <laughs> yeah, that, that was <laughs> that was my first time. You know, that was the door opening. That was me getting, getting in the field. And, from then, from people listening to that production, it just went skyrocket. Okay. So that was my first break, too. All right. Now, um, at what point were you like, okay, it's, it's really happening? Was it immediately after that, you know, you were set for life or? No. Okay. Because it's like, I felt like I did that one. So every time I do something, 
that play that has an impact i'd always be like what's next right you know like is it am i able to do it again right so i would say it when i when i got a call from skinny fabulous because uh -huh. me and him is the one who put together the spirit of carnival oh okay oh wow oh hey yeah. i don't know why <laughs> i didn't know that yeah it was it was actually me and him who put the project together okay and um after that project is when my eyes really open right because i was like wow this really happening <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so that from that project there and the experience of working with marshall and kiss it was just uh an eye open i like wow this is what a game is and this is what's going on yeah. so that was definitely the that project there was letting me know like yeah this happening <laughs> okay I, I was starting to hear your name in in circles like uh me and aj tight um mm -hmm. and, and i was hearing y your name was coming up more and more but mm -hmm. what i really was impressed with was how impressed were all the producers that are impressive mm -hmm. were with you you know what i mean yeah and that mean a lot to me you know because you know like just growing up and listening to everybody out there them, them guys is a major deal you know yes, yes. <laughs> so i used to be like wow them especially from you know like aj you have masai you have swanks i was just like wow these guys is a big deal so just just growing up and listening to everybody's style and different type of you know everybody the program different right i was just like wow one one day man i gonna i gonna be able to get to that level so let me ask you, who who was your biggest influence uh, music in the in the Virgin Islands? Yeah, I would say Daddy Jones. Okay, because to me Daddy Jones is a big deal, you know? and yeah. he's a very big deal, and ain't ain't even himself have anything to really do with. Like, we have RBI music, but Daddy Jones was also in the soca market too you know correct like tm winter and all them things so i was like wow just seeing him doing everything was like wow yeah that's that is it H have you worked with jones yet no not yet okay hold up hold up hold up, <laughs> <laughs> hold up! <laughs> hey this is where we get rich coco b all right so um i'm, I'm gonna set that up i'm gonna make that happen. Mm -hmm. i'm gonna make that happen. Yeah, he actually reach out to me yeah so Definitely expecting something in the future with okay. me and Jones for sure. Excellent. I just want a small percent, not a big percent. <laughs> just, a, just a little thing. All right. So, um, on the radar, what's, uh -huh. what's next? Who, who you working with next? Um, I have. To be honest, I have a lot of unreleased music. Uh huh. Um, I feel like the next one is more than likely gonna be with Nadia Batson. Okay. Because we've been working on some singles and stuff like that. Yeah. And I also have a lot of things with Adamo as well. So. Okay. For the summer, I am going doing another rhythm. Okay. And I can release it on Vivi Streaming first. Hey! I can do it a little different. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that, that one will be the next big one. All right. So um, I don't know if you you, you know this. Uh, Trey Otto, uh, Rock mm -hmm. Experience. We, we set up the banner, yeah? I mean, if you're up a you know. Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could come five out in there. That, that is it. That we could do it. And that is all, yes? All right, so um, you arguably one of the biggest records of 2023 was Market. Market. Yo, dude, one of the biggest records in soca music in 2023 yeah. was Market, and you did that. Yeah, that I would say Market to Market was, I knew from the first, I'm going to tell you a little background story about Market. Please do. So... I made a rhythm in like 2015. Okay. It okay. was it was one of those older rhythms that I had. Yeah. But you know, like when you're going through the fires, you're like, well, this have potential. Right. Skinny Banton actually did a song, Skinny Banton from Grenada. He was the first one to do something on that same rhythm. Okay. And it was a it was a good vibe, you know, everybody had liked it, everybody had liked to hear the rhythm. They was like, what's next? Right. So I'm like, you know what? I sent it to Nadia. And Arguably, I would say, to me, Nadia is probably one of the best soca writers in the game. Definitely. Because when I heard the demo, it was just a rough draft, you know, just like a, a voice note, like t telling me the direction she wanted to go. And I was like, that's a hit. Yeah. That's a hit. And she took the rhythm, she revamped it, and market now is over 4 million streams. 
four million streams. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, dude. Hey. <laughs> and everybody, that, was... that means four million times somebody heard the name of that producer, Papo. No, no, no. And I just grateful for it all, son. It's just a blessing. So now let me ask you this though: uh, in the creative process, right? Mm -hmm. it, it must be surreal that the likes of Nadia Batson is now having conversations with you, like yeah. consulting with you on the direction she wants to take your work. What what yeah. what, what does that feel like? Are you I would over say it? it was... Are you over it yet? You, you're used to it already? No, my son. This is still, <laughs> listen, I still living on this high, like, you know what I mean? Because I really did not expect any of this to happen. And that's why I would really tell anybody coming up. It's just, it's the timing. You know what I mean? Right. Sometimes they ain't the right time and you just can't stop because I had quit, I might tell you. Yeah. But um, I would say just being in a light that they can enjoy my productions, it's really a motivation for me to keep going because yeah. just knowing that I have that impact and I could produce for this amount of a, on a bigger scale, it just make me want to do it more, you know? All right. So that, 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 that'll want to drive me. Okay. So you, you said you've worked with Marshall Montana in the past. Any any uh, yeah. future projects with Marshall? Uh-huh. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Definitely something. It gonna, it gonna definitely be another one right now everything is just in a creating space you know yeah. just trying to create everything and put things together but it definitely will be future future projects all right now uh, what what has you most excited right now it could be anything it, it could be hold on hold on because mm -hmm. when, when you're living your kind of life it could uh -huh. be this marshall record that we just referenced or uh -huh. it could be just coming back home for carnival yeah. uh, it, it it could be playing the parade it could be anything yeah. what, what, what would it be what are you most excited about right now right now i would say st thomas carnival ah. you know what i mean it's just just to be able to do it again and because actually last year was my first time ever playing parade on a truck right. like everything was a new experience for me right, right, right. and last year we actually had marshall marshall had come and he had sing on the truck for a little bit right and stuff like that Again, so illustrating that you are indeed a big deal keep going <laughs> no, man. so i mean for for that being my first time like the experience was really like wow so it's just like this year i couldn't wait you know the band have more opportunities to play elsewhere right so i feel like now this kind of all gonna be a little different because i'm more in tune with what's going on right. you know and uh, of course, uh, you ain't no idiot. Uh, you get to see all those girls in Prodigy Mass welcome you. Make <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. up the whole Prodigy Mass massive. <laughs> <laughs> One time. All right, man. You know? So, um, again, a guy like yourself, sir, mm -hmm. you, do, you don't need new music to talk to me, brother. A mm -hmm. Anytime you want to have a conversation, we are here for you. We appreciate your success. I'm proud of your success. Um, mm -hmm. One of the most humble guys in the business um, and I was looking through, we got Coco B, who is um, managing like social media stuff and came mm -hmm. across a very old email or actually was a messenger from you. Uh huh. Like all old, old. Probably like, before, yeah. Like before all of it happened, like introducing yourself, like you were, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was like, man, we got to frame this. We got to frame this message. <laughs> it, that is. That's memories. Yeah, man. <laughs> and that was the first time I saw it, like two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like that. But yeah, man, listen, um, how, how many years you say you're in right now? So, um, in the music? Yeah. Um, I actually started creating music. I was in St. Croix when I started, um, like 2009. Okay. But I never really used to take myself serious. <laughs> right. I always start... Um, I never started making soca or calypso. I was more into like the R and B and the hip hop. But I love calypso body now, don't get yeah, me wrong. Right, right. So then as the years grew, I actually had um my neighbor David. He was the first one I see to make rhythm in front of me. Okay. And I was like, yeah, that's it. I I, I want to do that. Okay. And then from then, it just kept going, but it was really on and off for me. So I, I would say from since 2010 is when I really started okay. with the product. And then eight years later, you were ready to quit. Yep. Now, now um, R&B and hip hop, will you revisit that or 
clearly you walk in with the great <laughs> soca artist yeah, in the world i definitely will um i actually started doing a lot of afro beats okay and kind of just merging my sound with that afro type of vibe yeah. just to create that create a new a, a little vibe for me and see where it goes potentially but um definitely we'll revisit it r&b but right now soca have my heart all right, all right. well hey well, i'm appreciative that soca has your heart yeah. um and soca fans the world over are appreciative as well because you and soca belong in love with each other brother Mm-hmm. I mean, like, yeah. this ain't, wait, 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 this ain't a one-sided relationship where it's like, well, I just love Soka. Bah, Soka, I love you too, bro. Mm-hmm. I hear that. You know, actually, I meant to say something. Um, it's St. Croix. You ever hear of Harvey's Restaurant? Uh, boss, don't ask me answers. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm from Catherine's Rest. Of course I know Miss Harvey. That's my grandmother. I talked to Miss Harvey a week ago. Say what? That's my grandmother. So Richie is your father? That's my father. Man! <laughs> you are playing with me, brother. That's my father. All right, well, there, <laughs> there you go, sir. <laughs> so you know. Uh, okay, it's official. Like, you could have been terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, man. I got your back, brother. No, man, respect. Okay. Yeah, man, much love. All right, legendary. All right, so, hey, listen. Uh, Papa, when do you get to St. Thomas? I will be in on the 29th of april this month all right let, let's uh set up that that second appointment okay all for right. sure Let... definitely want to be in, in person i feel it's gonna be way more better yeah man for sure all right now uh, i got james ep up next uh he's got uh -huh. some new music it's been a big big show i had mike love on i had you on uh, uh -huh. i got james ep the haters reported my facebook page we still got seventy one thousand people on there <laughs> that we're gonna be talking to tomorrow so to hell uh -huh. with y'all you know what i mean hey, big Tell him. respect appreciate you Must thanks for having me no doubt. All right, man. Oh, that's Papa. Okay, I got one more to go. Oh, man. It's a big show. Yeah, I was over here like, mm, and what? I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, Coco B, could you please use that object in front of you? Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> I was, but it was all about the visuals, the yeah, head rolls. Yeah, the head this, rolls, you the know, neck rolls. They can't hear that on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, um, and with that being said, I'm going to offer this just in between. Uh, I got a soldier to my right, so... Y'all in trouble. I, I, that's all I got to say. Um, some things went wrong. And, and I love people that don't panic. I, like, for real, like, yo, I, I just love people that don't panic. I'm the silver lining queen, so yeah. help to bring it down. I mean, I mean, to, uh, if it makes you feel better, I still don't know about this retrograde thing, but. But you see, you, you, you see, you see it. That's not a retrograde. That's hate. That's two different things. Distinctly. That's facts. Yeah. That's facts. That's yeah. facts. All right, so I got James E.P., um, another big deal in Soka, who's about to join us. Um, and this is just, like, my first day back. Like, I just took a trip, and we would have had a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday interview. We just put everybody on Wednesday. <laughs> we are headed to St. Croix tomorrow for the opening of the Florence Williams Library. And we're going to be talking to our gold medal winning boxers for some reason who are like our best kept secret. Like they, they can't get no press. They can't. Get, I, I don't understand it. Um, but we're going to fix that tomorrow. All right. So looking forward to it. You said women boxers? No, they're not women. Oh. Okay. Gold medal winning. Got it. Oh, you heard woman. Yeah. No. Just accent. <laughs> And you get to meet them too. You come in the St. Croix with me tomorrow. We got chicken shock for lunch. I'm telling you from now. Um, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, 9.43 in the morning, 17 minutes in front of and I clock. All right. Let me see if I could get uh, Mr. James Morgan on the line. All right. It's the new rhythm on Baby Street. We still up or we down? We still up. Hmm. Um... You ever tried beatboxing? Me? Oh, I, yeah, I did. I was terrible at it. I feel like you could do that. No, I can't. No? Okay. I, I've tried. Thanks. I appreciate your confidence in me, but no, I can't. I cannot. You know noisemakers and stuff? That could, was really off-tone. I could make but... noise, but I can't, I can't beatbox. Um, that's weird. 
Oh, here it is. All right, so I'm going to play this song by James D.P., and then he, he should be on the flip side of this song. If you are tuned in on our YouTube, we, we can't play this. We, we're very uh, cautious right now about what we play. Um, but you uh, can download the Vivid Streaming app and not miss a beat, literally. P again. Problems. When you listen to this and tell me if you can relate to it. If you're in a love relation and find your woman acting strange, that should be an indication. It could be one out of the two between me and you. You know that your size is medium, but the one you find is extra large. Houston, we have a problem. Hey, until your sugar pan. Hey, she have an ex man. Hey, until your sugar pan. Hey, listen to me. And put that dig out the sweetness, dig out the sweetness, dig out the sweetness. And put that eat out the sweetness, eat out the sweetness, eat out the sweetness. And put that dig it out, 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 dig it out. And put that eat it out, eat it out.
Hey, that's right, man. We're getting sorted out. JMCP is up next. 9.58 in the morning.
Coco me, you know this one, man. <laughs> deucey, deucey. <laughs> Yeah, 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 James P. Yes, JCP wrote this. That's right, man. That's right. Two, three, four. Trample him. Trample him. Trample him. Jim CP. Good morning, my brother. Yo, my brother. How you seen? Man, everything is everything. Listen, uh, uh, luckily, you were a little tardy uh, because I got to play like all my favorite James CP records. All the records that you're responsible for, I had an opportunity to play. So that's I'm a, good, that's good. So I'm that's appreciative good. of that, man. That, that's right, man. James E.P. is responsible for many of you. Favorite soca song, Hulk. All right, now with that being said, this is a man after my own money. He has won several hundred dollars from Vivid Streaming with Song of the Week for Runaway.
<laughs> and apparently he feels like it's time to win some more. Welcome back to the show, my brother. How you feeling? I'm good, you know. Thanks for having me to your platform. Of course. You know, that is course. good. Of course. I mean, I'm in good health. I'm in good spirits. You know, happy for that. Yeah, man, you're smiling. This must be a big one. Yeah, I feel so. I feel that way. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, luckily for you, I still have the PayPal. I know where to send the money. That's cool. I have Zelle too. I have Zelle and I have Cash App too. All of them. People cost too much fees. <laughs> Next I use Zelle. Okay, all right. In that case, I'm going to send you a check because I don't have Zelle. <laughs> I want a check. I want a cash. I want a check. Hey, listen, man, for a long time, people have been head over heels for your music, James EP. How long you been in the game? Uh, professionally, from about nine, uh, like, 2000, I did my first like real professional recording. Right. But before, but before that, I was in the BVI doing doing um you know my little dance hall and thing right. from like about '93. Right. DJ Commodo. Yeah. You know, Juicy and Pinchy P. Yeah. And them fellas, you know, um, we 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 used to be rubbing shoulders with like with um what's his name there? <sighs> what what? Uh, what was the name of the crew from Rock City? The, the Lion, Rock something, Lion something. Oh, oh, uh, what them fellas name again? Star Lion Family. Star, uh, 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 yeah, te technology is. Uh, like, uh, I'm forget, like, they, I keep forgetting all these names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I'm here. So I keep rubbing with all them fellas, and that's, that's my, that, yeah, that's my early days. That's my early stages, you know? Yeah. So, I've been, been doing music from about 93 in the BVI and then, you know, 95, 98, zero at competitions and stuff like that. So, I've been around for a minute. Yeah. But my real first recordings, my first professional recordings came out of um, Tough Gang in Jamaica. Yeah. Um, the Shaka, Giving Thanks, which you know. Right. That was a, big, a, big, hit, a, big, a, big, a big hit in the Virgin Islands, you know. So, you know, we developed from that. Right. You develop from all that. And then uh, uh, responsible for one of the biggest soca songs of all time with Nuki. Um, yes, yes. That came in 2004. Runaway was also a, a great record most recently. Um, Capeless Heroes, which won you some awards uh, around the Caribbean. So yeah, man, you've been doing your thing. Thanks to you, thanks to you, Run, we started right here. Right here, right yes, here where we are, right here, right here. <laughs> Risk. Thanks to you, Ron. We started right here, and again, I'm starting. I'm starting head over heels right here, right, right here. Well, hey, listen. you got the first interview. You're getting everything first, exclusive. Well, I appreciate that, brother. We really do. And I know a young lady in our Saint Croix studio that's gonna be head over heels for you. Here it is, man. Brand new James P. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Feeling your vibe, you make me want to subscribe. Woman, I have to follow you. Aha, aha. Just have to click the like button. And now I'm gonna leave a comment. Woman, you're simply amazing. Amazing. And you got me falling. Falling for you. For you. Yeah. And every night and every day. Every day. Every time I make my way, I think about you. It's true. Girl, I wanna make you my lady, call you my baby, hopefully one day. And if I ever get the chance for this romance, it will be a good day. You see? What? And you know me, not gonna play, play, play. I'm gonna love you seriously. House car, baby. Bring marriage from me. Cause I'm so into you, mama, mama. And I'm really feeling your vibe. You make me want some Oh, this is another one. This is another one, James and just have to click the like button And now I'm gonna leave a comment Woman, you're simply amazing Amazing And you got me falling Falling for you Man, pull up the truth You don't know why I got listen I'm, For you uh, Jamesy, 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 Jamesy I, I know you from dance hall days The man get real lovey-dovey and old age What's going on? 
No, bro. No, dog. It's a flip side. It's a flip side. Uh huh. The EP, the EP is called the flip side, right? Uh-huh. So I'm, I'm showing sure not, not, no James EP love you, dummy, you mad? Yeah, well, yeah, but there, that is the flip side of me. That is the most sentimental side of me. You check what I'm saying? I have to show my diversity when I write it with this. You see this thing here? Yeah. This thing called a pen and the kid. I have to show diversity. So as much as people know me as you know, hard hitting, look it tonight. And rogatic and bash with the keep on this. Right, brr, brr, right, right, right. I'm on a different side too. When I sit down to write something for the ladies, I can write it. And the ladies like this. I can really write it. The ladies like this side. Mama, mama. And I'm really feeling your vibe. You make me want to subscribe. Woman, I have to follow you. Aha, aha. Just have to click the like button. And now I'm gonna leave a comment. Woman, you're simply amazing, amazing. And you got me falling, falling for you, for you. Yeah. And every night and every day, every day, every time I make my way, I think about you. It's true. Girl, I wanna make you my lady, call you my baby. Hopefully one day. And if I ever get the chance for this romance, it will be a good day. You see. What? And you know me not go play, play, play. I'm gonna love you seriously. House car, baby. Bring marriage from me. Cause I'm so into you, mama, mama. And I'm really feeling your vibe. You make me want to subscribe. Woman, I have to follow you. Aha, aha. Just have to click the like button. And now I'm gonna leave a comment. Woman, you're simply amazing. And you got me falling, falling for you, for you. And every night and every day, every day, every time I make my way, I think about you. It's true. So right now I'm head over, head over, head over is for you. I'm head over, head over, head over is for you. So I tell myself, stop doubt yourself, shoot your shot. You never know, you just never know when you're gonna hit the spot. Girl, your beauty intimidates me. Hell out of me girl. But I'm not scared of rejection, so here's my confession. What? I'm so into you, mama, mama. And I'm really feeling your vibe. You make me want to subscribe. Woman, I have to follow you. Just have to click the like button, and now I'm gonna leave a comment. Woman, you're simply amazing, amazing, and you got me falling, falling for you, for you. And every night and every day, every time I make my way, I think about you. It's true. So right now I'm head over, head over, head over is for you. I'm head over. Right, man, he goes head by the name of Jim Z.P. Uh-huh. You feel your next number one there? Salaga! <laughs> you feel your next number one there? Yeah, 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 yeah. This, this one could win some of my money for sure. Hey, definitely, man. Uh, Jim Z. That's the that, that's group, right? That's the group. <laughs> no, 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 no. Talk to me. Dope record, dope record. Uh, let, me, let me see. Uh, Irene Ali, good morning. All right. Okay. So, um, Jamesy, I ain't no fool, brother. I, I work with lovely women. Um, so let me ask them their opinion uh, of what they just heard, as you know. Uh, Irene, do that. I love to hear. Irene, I love uh, to hear. What are your thoughts, Irene? Listen. Well, first of all, good morning, James P. I love me. Good morning, Irene. How are you? I am wonderful. Even more wonderful now because I love me like a lover's rock. You pull in on my heartstrings. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, is that so? <laughs> yes, yes. I love it, man. I was vibing over here. I was like, let me go ahead and download our iTunes real quick. Okay. I already got it on my own. I'm humbled. 
Yeah, Mike. I'm humble. It's good music. It's good music. So, so there you go. Um, already Thank making, you. already making money off of us uh, because yeah. <laughs> somebody just just downloaded it on iTunes. Uh, uh, Coco B, what are your thoughts? She, oh, she's beautiful too, by the way. Hey, Coco B, okay. what, what are your thoughts? I loved it. I love the vibes. I'm a lover girl, so. I'm a content creator too, so you're like, oh, you go subscribe to my channel? Yes, love. You head over heels for me. I love you it. You make me want to subscribe. <laughs> oh, I hey. have to follow you. <laughs> oh, I know I'm going to leave a comment. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. I have to follow you. That's my part right there. I, I know I click the like button. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to leave a comment. <laughs> yes, nah, that's, that's dope. That's, that's dope, son. Yeah, that's man. dope. And listen, Jamesy, man, you've been doing this for a long time. But most importantly, you've been doing it very well for a long time, man. Let, let, me, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. My, my, my next record, uh-huh. it, comes out, it comes out the day after Vinci Mars. Let me big up Vinci Mars right now, too. Yes, sir. And all my Vinci listeners. Yes, sir. You know, uh, June, June 30th to July the 10th. You have to come. Come to Vinci Mars. You must come. That's an official invitation for my people in St. Croix and around the Virgin yes, Islands, right? My next record is, co- is going to be called My Name. Uh-huh. It's, it's going to be released on the day after Carnival, which is July the 10th. Okay. Or it depends on how much champagne I drink in between there or how much um, <laughs> Eldorado 21 I drink in between for the next two weeks. I might release it in the next two weeks. Okay. But I promise, I promise you, Rashid, uh-huh. you're going to be blowing up my PayPal for a long time. <laughs> for a long, long time. You're going to be blowing up my PayPal for a long time. Uh, uh, the, only PayPal, the, only, the only PayPal address or PayPal links you're going to see is GMZP. Okay. GMZP right. Music, LLC. Well, I <laughs> I'm here for it, man. I, I, I don't mind supporting... I promise you that. <laughs> ...and helping them build new houses. I, I have no problem with that, brother. I'm, with, I'm here for it. <laughs> hey, listen. I do, and I do appreciate... I do appreciate Vivid Streaming, man. I appreciate the work that you've done and you're still doing over the years. And, you know, the ladies that are there with you, you guys are doing a wonderful job. Yes, sir. So just keep, keep doing that and, um, you know, reach for the stars, reach for the skies. Yeah, man. Well, hey, listen, only because yeah. I've seen people like you experience the ultimate success. I- I've seen uh, what one song did for you when you-, you build that beautiful little house of yours off of New Yeah, York. yeah, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so, definitely. Hey, and-, and to know, like, a-, a-, a friend of mine wrote one of my favorite soca songs of all time. Like, all time. Like, Hulk see, see. is people and them, brethren. So, I mean... To have right. a conversation sto- when, with you is an honor. When come to Hulk, the stories are endless. Yeah, yeah. Well, first of all, it nearly drives me crazy. Right. Like literally, literally drove me crazy. Like um, I know you you have been to the BV a lot of the times, right? Of course. You know you know Beef Island Beach, right? Yes. You know you you have to drive through a more or less like a swamp to go through to get to the beach, right? Right. Uh-huh. And my, this is me, this is me driving out from Beef Island. And and writing the song, and there's a line in the song that says, "You you you must climb out. I feel like Hulk." That line, yeah. that line, it came to me when it came to me. It came to me so 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 real. I stamped on the bricks, and I kind of like skidded into the swamp itself, and the vehicle started to sink. Wow! And that's just me jumping out with cold bump all over my skin, crying. Wow! I couldn't help. I couldn't help. It was like. A really emotional time. Yeah. You know? But, it, was a, it was a really emotional time. But the stories are endless. But something beautiful came from it. You know what I mean? And and that's the beauty of music, brother. And that's the beauty yep. of the music that you make. Uh yeah, so okay. Apparently I, I gotta send prepare. I gotta do some savings um for head over heels <laughs> and know my name. What what the next one name? Call my name. Yes, yeah, so it's my name. My name, okay. You have you have you have runway and now you have a head over heels. Right. That's three songs after EP. That's three songs after EP. Okay. Well I'm ready for the EP. So, when is the EP? Brace available? yourself. Um I had one date previously, but that date has passed. Uh I have a different plan for the EP now though. I am looking into it more strategically, releasing the tracks like one one song at a time and then release the whole EP after. So until I put out at least four hit tunes after that EP, which is Runway, Head Over Heels, My Name, and one more. 
then I will repeat. I, I I plan to um release the EP. I just want to service my 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 um my fan base. Right. Well, you're... month after month, I want to service my fan base. Your your fan base is properly serviced, my lad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, brother, man, hey, look, man. Thank you, sir. 10 24 in the morning. I gotta get out of here because I am all in Irene Ali's time. But thank you so much, Jay. All right. I appreciate you, brother. All right. Yeah, blessings, man. Yeah, Take well. care. All right. So yeah, I... you and Coco be on the, on the next lady there next to you. Blessings. Respect. Much love. Respect. All right. Now, Irene is uh, actually indeed. in our St. Croix studio, but that's like yes. technology, you know what I mean? We're um, all here together. together. That's all that matters. <laughs> thank you. Listen, um, that was uh, a heck of a day. We've we've had a heck of a day. I feel like I need another vacation after the one I just took. Yeah, you do. Man, all right. I'm Irene. coming with you. I'm coming with you. Well, you could come with me to Chicken Shack tomorrow because that's where we're going to be. <laughs> hey, um. On a flight. I got a text yes, message and the text message said. La pollera de mi jean. All I hear is Chicken Shack. Masai Harris joining us. All right, that's going to be fun. <laughs> that's going to be a great time. Okay, so that's it. All right, well, um, Irene, what you got in store today? You know what I'm excited about? Tell me. The segment of What Would Irene Do? is oh, kicking off. Yay! Yeah, I'm here for it. it. Consistently, and we got people queued up and sending me situations to talk about, and I'm just ready for it. Ready you for should it. see Rasha's face. Yes. <laughs> What, 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 oh, what's his reaction, though? Reaction, bad reaction. Oh, He's my like, reaction okay. is to I, uh, not Irene. Who am I talking to again? I feel like my mother. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, Get your coffee. Come on. <laughs> Coco no, B? I, I, it was, yes, thank you. Coco B. <laughs> I, was, I was about to do what my mother do. You! <laughs> <laughs> it's working, though. <laughs> People, people are messaging me. They want it. They want these conversations to be talked about, and I'm here for it, man. Well, so we're hey, doing listen. it. I'm, I'm happy for you, and apparently, Coco B is even happier. Yes. I oh. am because I'm the one who told her to do it. Snaps fingers. Ooh. Snaps fingers. Hello. Ooh. The plug. I'm Big excited. Flex. In. Big flex. I'm excited. Yes, oh, I have one for you. Uh oh. Okay. I'm gonna put. This is not mine in real life, but scenarios have hey, happened hey, around hey, Irene, me. Irene. 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 Uh, yeah. Anytime somebody send you a story and it starts with, this ain't really like my life. <laughs> it's their life. But go ahead, go ahead. But that's a good <gasps> one. What? That's the people that care the most. Go ahead, Coco. What would Irene do if you found out you were dating your cousin? Oh, you already hey. did things. This is a real story. Do things, but that's your cousin. Ooh. Is this a real life situation? My heart is broken. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me, let me interject. Uh... It's a real life situation, but it's not. Her it's not life. mine. It's real facts. It really was. Well, I mean, yeah, I got, I got that. Yeah, it's very disturbing. Are you asking me right now? Yes, you're here. Okay. Um, I would go somewhere and be completely disgusted and cry in a corner. That's definitely number numero uno. Um, you I think would... that's important to the process? Hell to the yes. Okay, just like <laughs> because I was all up in you know Ooh. this you know with with my family, mm. so I have to process that. That's number one. Process it. Let it matter. Be disgusted. Get in your feelings because you gotta like feel it out. Because sometimes we just keep going. Um, and after Apparently I do your all cousin of that, feels you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. It is. Horrible. I'm sorry. And then stay away from <laughs> stay away this from people that dig the wounds. <laughs> this is why there is not a what we're gonna shoot Here's the question though. Uh -huh. Do you immediately break because you already been doing things? So what yes. what's be what's be what because my, tie, my 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 soul tie, so to speak. I done shared my mind, my will, my emotions, my body with this person. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut it off. That's like evident. Like I'm, I'm having a conversation with you because as an individual, as a person that well, I care for. Well, I would hope for, so. That's the least you could do. Yeah. And then I'm going to go cry in the corner and die within myself. And then, then, and the most importantly, right. most importantly, number, number two, I would say is <sighs> forgive myself because I didn't know any better. Right. And just but, keep but, moving. Okay. So everybody should be forgiven because you didn't know. Right. But what unless if I, you thought you know. that was the love of your life? Well, live another life and find another <laughs> love. That is not doing we're it. Gonna get, we're going to get Rashidi in on the next tick. Hey, yo. I, I read you don't want me in your segment, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I got instigated much. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, but I, I am now officially looking forward to it. Uh <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> hey, um, I had a whole lot of fun, but I got to run. Um, uh, tomorrow morning, I'll be in the library uh, making more noise than is allowed in the library, apparently. Uh, but we, we got permission to be there, so I'm looking forward to that. Is the official opening of the Florence Williams Library. Uh, we do have some special guests who are going to be joining us from the library tomorrow morning. We will be doing our show from there. Uh, I get to see all my Cruzian friends, uh, Pajera de Mejing, Masai. Hopefully, we can link up with AJ, um, Irene uh-huh. Ali. I, I just, I love to uh-huh. go home. I do. You have to go home? No, home, I, home is, what are you I, talking about? Home is I, in the sink. I love to go home. Hold on, oh, pause. Go. <laughs> uh, wait, let me, let me break this down for you. Um, this is what Rashidi would do. Rashidi would let you know that I have a house in St. Thomas. But my home is St. Croix. All right. Okay. I don't know. What don't I don't you know, know Rashidi. You be in St. Thomas a whole lot, bro. What does that mean? That you live there. <laughs> he is telling you he is by coastal, by island, I, ma'am. I am, so your your body is in St. Thomas. I am in St. Croix all the time, and Irene Ali knows this, so I don't know what she's I doing. I do here. know this, but you also live there, so your heart is there. But you, you know what I mean. Ain't no, ain't no shame in the game, but like, told there's me no much? shame in my game neither. I am not a Saint mm. Tonian. I am a Cruzian who lives in Saint Thomas. Period. Okay. Okay. I choose not to choose violence. Exclamation choose mark! Not actually, violence. not a period. Okay. Exclamation okay. mark! Well, right, welcome, so. welcome back home tomorrow. Thank as you. We open up the library. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's <laughs> much, much better. Much better. Okay. I changed it around. You know, I gotta share the love. Yeah, kind of like you call um, okay. third. The wrong name. Oh, I, I like, oh are we going there? Yeah. We're going there. Uh, <laughs> Did you say something about CISA? What'd you say? I, I like how you recovered from that. That, that was very similar. I always got to recover, bro. That, that always got to recover. Yeah. Uh-huh. Anyway. Best I, time on the show, though. Indeed. I am coming home. <laughs>